So what was initially the problem? The problem was um, the machine welded fine, so that was not a problem, but um, the welds were very thick. And I was trying to figure out why my welds were so thick. So, and I think I found um, a theoretical solution for it, and today I'm gonna test it out. So, what seemed to be the problem? Um, the problem is that I, um, uh, I was looking at the Miller app and the Miller app suggested that I weld it with more amps and therefore with more voltage and I thought that the first button was actually wire speed which it's not it's con uh, conductivity um, so and that button has to be set up yeah, basically opposite to the amps and um, so today I'm going to try that because it didn't weld nicely before because I thought it was wire speed. Now that I know it's not, I hope I can make it weld better at a lower voltage and a lower amperage and therefore getting smaller welds. The other thing is that I also want to check if I set up my machine correctly. So I printed out a couple of pages from the manual and I'm going to work with those. So the first part that I want to check is here is an overview of the machine and how it should be connected. And what's important to see is how the earth clamp is connected and how the loose cable on the machine is connected. And if you look at my machine, I have it connected properly. What you see here is the table that um, Stahlwerk suggests for the different thicknesses of material. First thing is that I was welding 3 to 4 millimeters with 150 amps and 19 volts and um, we can basically go back to most likely 120 amps but we then have to play with the connectivity and with the, um, with the voltage. I think we should go to 17 volts and um, watch for the um, conductivity and then looking at that how it is explained I have a page printed out I've printed out several pages um, I think it's this page no this page? no So here, it says inductance uh, is a built-in current choke smoothness, the welding current and, and changes the rate of current rise, improving the weld quality and precision. It contributes to better ignition, the ignition is <laughs> the exact setting varies. A high welding current requires a low induction. So if you look at this. If we go, I will turn the machine on. So I'm 120 amps and that's right there. So then my suggestion would be that we would have the conductivity there. So that is like it says here it is opposite or contrary to the other one so this is how I interpret that so 17 I think 17 volts 120 amps and then the conductivity over there this should be a good setting for welding 3 mil plate and this should get us a little bit flatter welds so let's try this. And the last thing that I want to try is raise the liters per minute slightly because I was using about 8 um, when I used the torch. Uh, so now I raised it 
by about two liters and let's see how that goes So, as you could hear, starting was difficult, but once it started, it welded okay. So that means the conductivity needs to be changed, I think, slightly. So let's do that. It doesn't sound a lot better. I raised it now. So let's go down. This time I went back to the original setting for the conductivity but went up to 18 volts instead of 17 volts. So again, you could hear it has a lot of difficulty starting up, but once it is welding, it welds okay. Um, the weld is now a lot narrower, but still it is quite high, but I think it's better. So these are the couple of welds I just did now, just to try and experiment a little bit. So I tried these welds close to each other and what seems to be the problem is that as soon as the material heats up the setting changes so I did this weld here at the bottom with the same setting I started with but here the material was cold and it welded all the way through so what I'm gonna do now I made this quick uh, setup so I can put a weld in the corner here and I can also just move the torch a little bit up and down to the sides so that I can uh, make a nice filled wire because again here you can see the weld is quite high and it's laying more or less on top of the material instead of in the yeah in the in the material so I'm gonna try here I just tag the corners not the most beautiful thing but I'm just gonna try here and see how that works so this doesn't work at all 70 volts, 135 amps Eighteen and a half volts, one hundred thirty five amps. Okay, so that went a lot better. So again, it welds nice, but again, it is a high weld, it's a thick weld. Again, I think that as soon as the material heats up, welding just becomes 
That's easy. And for the last weld, back at 19 volts, 150 amps, and a very low setting on the connectivity. And that welds. That welds perfectly. And all the other settings, I just cannot get it to weld right. I've tried a lot of different settings right now. And they all are impacted by either hot or cold. And this setting just welds. So even though it's a little bit of a pity, on the other hand, you know, if it works, it works. If you look at it like this, it does penetrate the material. So it does seem to be like it is a, a good weld, it's just high and uh, seemingly that's the only issue with it. There's also this little thing I need to make, uh, an angle iron on the left side and then a piece of straight with a piece uh, coming onto it at an angle of 45 degrees. What I need it for is a door stop basically that goes underneath the small cabinet uh, because we don't want the door to hit the cabinet all the time, especially with the children opening the door. So I'm going to make this small frame. Um, it is 2 mil mostly. Um, I'm unsure about the angle iron but the tubes are 2 mil. So let's see how that goes. I have to figure out a new setting for the welder and uh, let's try and do that. So this is weld number two. Weld number one. Weld number three and weld number four. Um, the first two welds went fine and the third weld here on top or the fourth weld on top was spluttering a little bit again. Uh, it's still a little bit strange that sometimes it works fine and other times it is just um, having trouble and starts sputtering. I don't quite understand yet why that is, but that's why we learn and that's why we practice. I cleaned up the welds after I welded the whole thing all around. Yeah, and this one I couldn't reach. I can do it with the finger file later. But, um, I don't know. Some welds came out pretty decent, and others are eh. But still, um, yeah. It's uh, once it's welding like it is right now, then it's a joy to weld. But uh, it's just a little bit annoying that uh, sometimes it sputters and other times it welds fine. For example, here in the corner, it was doing all kinds of silly stuff that's why there's so much splatter while here it welded very nice so I don't know why that is but um, maybe I didn't clean it sufficiently I don't know so in closing uh, today we experimented again uh, again on the 3 mil mostly and um, yeah we played with the conductivity and um, with the voltage and the amps 
and sometimes it welds nice at 17 and a half, 18 volts and about 130, 35 amps but uh, generally speaking it just welds best at uh, 150 amps and 19 volts and then the conduct conductivity at a very low uh, point basically or I think it's like the fourth dot of the dial um, and that basically always welds nice and the other positions do weld but, but if the material gets hot or if it's maybe it gets a little bit dirty because of previous welds or something like that I don't know exactly why but then it uh, yeah sometimes it just doesn't weld very nice um, okay so yeah we'll try that for the next time um, yeah so uh, still very happy as you did as you saw I did a couple of other uh, welds uh, again and uh, yeah it's getting better um, so I'm happy with that um, gave it a little bit more gas from the bottle and that seems to work better um, yeah so all in all and I cleaned up the welds and then they also look a little bit nicer um, yeah so I think all in all it is uh, yeah small steps small progress I saw that I also have some one mil uh, plate so maybe next time we're gonna cut up some one mil plate and try and, and see what we can do with that um, and um, yeah, so two, three, four mil, I think I can weld with this setting, uh, especially around the two mil, I have to be a little bit careful. Um, but yeah, for the rest, it's, it's nice. Um, still very happy with the MiG-200 from Stahlwerk. Um, and um, yeah, let's see where the next video brings us regarding the welder and regarding projects. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, uh, give it a, a, a like and a thumbs up. And um, see you in the next one. Thank you.